checking things. Right, everyone. Welcome back to here. All right, that should be done. So, yeah, late today, an hour late. I was fucking, um, fell asleep earlier. But one now. Let's see who's on. I've noticed if I do late ones, not so many people come on. But I have also noticed if you come on slightly late, you don't seem to have so many dickheads on either. You're right, Gas Goblin, how was your weekend last night, did you, Paul? Saint, you're right, mate. I got your email. I ain't had a chance to reply yet. I I have read it though. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers for the um, you know, just saying hello sort of thing, won't you? Yeah, so just the old normal. Yeah, mine was all right. When did I play poker? Was that last weekend? I, you know what, Gas Goblin? I can't even remember now. I don't think I did, did I? You know what? I can't really remember. No, I don't think I did. I was just on here, wasn't I? <clears throat> you right, Jamie? Yeah, we'll see who comes on. Don't forget to like the stream. Five people on, two likes. So yeah, when, when some more people get on, we'll have a bit of a chat. I ain't got a lot to talk about, really. Um, all I've, yeah, just I've, I, I took some bloody, I took an antihistamine tablet to see whether, see whether me keep having this weird sore throat is to do with an allergy, which I assume, I reckon it is, because there's no other reason I would keep having a, like a cough, um, a slight cough of a little bit of phlegm for like over a month. I reckon it's dust. <clears throat> so I took some, um, took an antihistamine today, but it said on it, one in 10 people would make you really tired. And it fucking did. It, I fell asleep at fucking seven o'clock. Axe, you're right, mate. He said, never fear, the Yank is here. <laughs> Alex Saint said, nice, nice build recently. Cheers, mate. Yeah, I was really happy with that. There she is. Looks good on this camera, I'll tell you that. Comes across very nice. It's good for homemade, isn't it? I was really happy with that pommel as well. But the overall look is really nice. <clears throat> ha, good. Corona? Oh, no, nah, it definitely ain't Corona. <laughs> if it's Corona, then I'm a super spreader. Um, nah, because all my family would have had it. No one else has got it. Um, yeah, no, nah, if it was Corona, everyone would have it in my house. You know, I cook everyone's dinners and all shit like that. Um, Bikini Bandit said, my questions and comments are too spicy. I don't know. That one seems all right. <laughs> Your mother, he said, how is how is life? He's good, mate. How are you? Yeah, that's my latest build. I thought I'd line all the recent ones up. So we've got the survival knife, the white handled bowie, the brass and beach bowie, the big coffin handled bowie, the big the big one with the black handle, the the that's a big thick one. I don't know how you describe that one, but the white handled one, and then the big um, frontier. Oh. <clears throat> uh, Dan Wilson, you right, mate? He said, "How do you rate the brand Combat?" I'm not sure, mate. I've never really had any combat stuff. Um, find something that go and find something that Combat make. And find out the exact of what it's called. Put it in the comments and I'll have a quick look and I'll tell you what I think. <laughs> How good said, why do you have covers over your guns in the back? On live streams, you, I could show them technically. You're not allowed to handle firearms anymore. Um, and just to cover myself so I don't get any sort of restrictions on my YouTube channel, I cover them up. It also stops me getting them down by accident. If I go to get one down, I look. I think, oh, yeah, I'm not supposed to be getting them down. Um, Saint said you can't beat a Bowie knife. I do like Bowie's. I do like other knives. The good thing with the Bowie knives, they're, e they're very easy to make from other blades. All the other stuff is a lot more involved. Do these end? But I do like a Bowie, they are knives. I sold all my Bowie knives. That's why I've gradually remade them all. Um, I think one, two, three, four, five, six of those are Bowies. James said, all them knives in the background. Looks like a family photo. <laughs> it's all going up in height as well. That way there. Hang on. What would that be? <laughs> it's fucking backwards on here. Go that way. 
Gas goblins had the bags and the gloves are good. I don't think I've had any com combat stuff, you know. Rich, you're right, mate. Your mum said, Merlin actually restocked some of the good products. You already know what I want. Hope you're okay with it. Yeah, that's all right, mother. Yeah, your mother. Um, I've noticed there's some other places have got them in stock now as well. Bikini Bandit said, this channel is like a strip club. You want to buy an own, but all you can do is look. Yeah, there you go. Dan Wilson said, I do like lever action rifle. This one. Yeah, that's quite nice, isn't it? That's a Danich replica, that one. Hargood said, what's your biggest knife you have? Well, if you class it as a definite knife, probably that one on the end. This, I would say this is 100% a knife. Um, but I have got bigger things. But I would call them like a short sword. So you can see how big that is. But I have got bigger stuff than that, whether you would still call it a knife. Would you say this is a knife? If you if you say this is a knife, then this is bigger. But I wouldn't say that's a knife anymore. That's more of a short sword. But that's probably my biggest knife, I'd say. Yeah, this one probably. Yeah, that's more of a cutlass than a knife, isn't it? This is this is still a knife. I'd still say this is a knife. Whereas that thing's cutlass, really, isn't it? I'm gonna catch up with the comment. Liam's on your right, Liam. Um, Matt Cooper, you're right, mate. He said, I looked up to the police station for Swiss Army. They measured it several times and confiscated it. Let me go. Yeah, sickening, really, isn't it? You should be allowed that. You should you should be allowed that. How did that happen, Matt? What happened? Marone, you right, mate? I saw you commenting on my videos recently. I didn't get a chance to reply to Dan said, my uncle in Australia has one, and they, um, they're real fun to shoot. I bet they are. T2, Colin CQ, you right, mate? So said, to be honest, your mercy is looking quite nice. Going to have a look after. Ah, oh, nice one. Yeah, you should. Yeah, I've got quite a few different things. Mugs. T-shirts. There's different kind of T-shirts. These aren't the only ones. Um, yeah. Different colours and different designs. You know, there's loads of stuff on there. Yeah, have a look, mate. You might, you might see something you like. And it does support me. Dan said to Liam, can you unbund me from your stream, please? Um... Got slight um, acid reflux. Hargood said, "Are you legally allowed to have a knife that big?" Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't have it otherwise. Everything I own is legal. So if you see anything I have, it's one hundred legal. Has to be legal because um, they can end up taking all my stuff away. Yeah, that's perfectly legal to own. And if you've got a good excuse, you could take it out with you. And if you was going down the woods and you know, as a stop and search, was it? Matt. Yeah, that's weird. Although I don't, you know, you never know. With the, this is the thing with the police; they're weird like that. Sometimes they'll, um, you know, sometimes they'll take you down the police station and waste your time, and then other times they'll just go, "No, it's all right." You just have to. I suppose you've done all right there, really. Although you know it is legal, though, isn't it? So, Bristol, you're right, mate. He said I just mentioned you on another channel. Uh, might get a few extra. Views. Oh, thank you, Bristol. That'd be good. Yeah, it's just showing that. That looks lovely on this camera. This camera really shows that off. <laughs> I hope to use this camera more often. Fucking nice knife this is. Even if I do say so myself. Len, he said, what's up, punks? You right, mate? Dan said, a while ago, I gave my brother an iPad. And I think he kept spamming the stream. So I took it off him and he used my account to do it. All right. Trog, you all right, mate? He said, is that a Webley rat catcher up there behind you? That's a, a Crossman. That one is a Crossman 2240, which is like the pistol of the rat catcher. And that's a Webley there. That's a Webley Mark One, I, I think. 
That's right. I knew what you meant. I know. Oh yeah, it says Wembley, doesn't it? Yeah, I knew you meant Wembley. But yeah, Crossman, Crossman too. To the, the rat catcher has like a stock on it, but it's like that, but bigger, isn't it? I know what you mean. I used to have a rat catcher. Richard said I had to go at bench press forearm. Um, still isn't healed. I did a light weight, six kilogram for ten reps of my forearm setting. I'm starting to complain. Yeah, you have to give it a rest still then, Rich, I reckon, wouldn't you? Shame, but you know, you'll get there. You know what to do, don't you? You don't want to, I'd say don't push it. Definitely let it rest, though. Otherwise, you'll be like me and end up having an injury that never, you know, I'm still getting bloody pain in my chest 20 fucking years later. Down to the got myself, uh, got my rifle confiscated the other day. How did that happen then? Bloody hell, everyone's getting all their stuff to go off. Dead, you right, mate? Tactical said slivers in and gives Mike an earful for coming on late. Yeah, <laughs> fell a fucking sleep. So I've got like a little weird, little weird bit, long bit on my beard. Yeah, I took a bloody antihistamine tablet and it said on there it might make you tired. It fucking did. I fucking fell asleep at bloody um, <coughs> seven o'clock. <laughs> Yeah, to cut that little bit off. Um, where are we? Yeah, I haven't been up very long. Right. Then said, got to say, Mike, that was an impressive collection of homemade knives. You should be proud of your work, mate. Thank you, Len. I am, I am. I'm really happy with them. Well, I thought I'd put them on display. Definitely gonna make more. Yeah, it's nice having it's nice having knives like that. You know what I mean? That you've done yourself. But I am really happy with them. I put a lot of effort into, into those. Yeah, here's the latest. You've seen it anyway, ain't you? Definitely gonna do more, and I've decided I'm gonna do some daggers soon. Cause I had a bit of a um, sudden idea today where to get dagger blanks from. Have a guess what you could easily use as a dagger blank, and no one say on it who's in the in the chat group who's already knows. But I was just looking for a magazine today, and I thought, oh shit, that'd be the perfect blanks for daggers. It's obvious when you when you think about it. Dan said I was shooting a target in my garden, and for some reason my neighbour told the police it was an automatic rifle. Fuck's sake. Yeah, it's very dodgy that you can, you know, not you, but the fucking idiot saying that you're doing things like that. You could get shot for that, for some other cunt lying, basically. Tactical Dead, you should have checked if your new build was shaving sharp. Uh, it definitely ain't shaving sharp. <laughs> In all honesty, um, Tactical, I never, I never do them shaving sharp. Um, that one might be close to it. Is it that one? Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't like them too sharp. It's, it's you know, it's good having a sharp knife. Do you know what I mean? But um, for a lot of these, they don't need to be shaving sharp. Richard said, also sorted out the eBay issue. Finally ordered the stuff. Uh, fixed the belt grinder. Nice one, Rich. Then said, put my name in the marbles one, mate. Definitely, Len. Solid the skin edge, right, mate? So I'll tell you what would make perfect um, knife blanks, dagger blanks, for cheap as fuck, throwing knives. Most throwing knives are dagger shaped, and they're basically a fucking blade blank, aren't they? So, yeah, I'll, and you can normally get some blade blanks, not blade blanks, but some throwing knives, you can get bloody free throwing knives for, like, 10 quid. So that's essentially free... Dagger blanks for a tenner. Excellent, really. So, yeah, I'm going to buy, I'm going to try and find some nice big throwing knives that are dagger shaped, turn those into like boot daggers and shit like that, or whatever. Dan said there was an armored unit at the front door screaming at me. Yeah, that takes the piss, doesn't it? Takes the fucking piss. So, you have to, you have to be very careful with, you know, if your neighbors are pricks. Even though what you're doing is legal. Yeah. 
Bristol said, do you know about Dover in, 5th, in 5 September? No. What's that then, Bristol? Tactical said, a couple of my cheap Anglo arms knives have come shaping sharp out the box. I was surprised they were so cheap. Yeah, that's surprising, isn't it? That is surprising. Ah, uh, saying that, was it the folders? Because saying that, I think this little folder in here, this little folder, I think, was um, shaving sharp when I first got it. Yeah, it's not quite... No yeah, it is, yeah. That's, that is cutting a bit of air off, but it's not, like, massively... Um... Yeah, this one's not far off shaving sharp. I noticed they're folders. Folders must be a bit easier. They're a bit thinner. Because that bloody thing, such a fucking big beast of a thing, they're quite... It's, you know, it's very sharp. It's got a lot of material on it. Uh, not very sharp. It's very thick. So there's a lot of material needs to come off. Yeah, that did cut a little bit of hair off. You won't be able to see it on here. Um, T2 said, got to go look for a horseshoe tomorrow with my detector. Been asked to help out because it's been shod this week. Oh, no, that's a, yeah, well, at least you can be helpful for people, isn't it? T2, you can help someone out. Yeah, yeah. that's good, really, do not it, that you can do that. Then they said to tactical part, I rate Anglo arms, mate, so cheap. You want to hate them, but they're genuinely right. Oh, I like the Anglo arms stuff. Yeah, all the Anglo arms stuff is cheap and it, but it's cheap, it's cheap, as you said, but good. That fucking thing, this thing here, which was made out of the Anglo arms bolo machete, the great big one. I've got another one on the way. That was an excellent bit of um that's that's a 24 inch machete with a five millimeter blade. For 15 quid. That's bloody, you know, madness. Richard said, also some throwing knives have holes in handles, so no drilling needed for the pins. Exactly, Rich. Yeah, that's it. It's almost like they're perfect for it. Yeah, I was going to say about the holes. Yeah. Yeah, the majority of throwing knives already have holes in the bloody handles as well. Yeah, perfect for, um, yeah, for your pins. You don't even need to drill them. So you don't even have the issue of... Hardened steel needing to be, um, because that's the other thing. When I did that, that was really hard to do. That one because it was, you know, it was the handle was as hard as the rest of the blade. These are normally quite good. These blade blanks, I've noticed that the handles aren't as hard as the um, the blade, so you can actually drill them. Sol said, Our neighbor told our other neighbors that we were trying to burn. Their tree down. A bit of a weird thing to do, isn't it? You know, them say that. Dan said, my neighbours knew it was a pellet rifle. He asked if he could use it to kill some rats the night before. And I said, no. Oh, it must have just been some kind of cunt then, Dan. Because, yeah, that's just a jealous cunt then by the sounds of it. Because, you know, if they're, um, you know, a bit of a weird thing to do, isn't it? Oh, can I borrow your gun? And now you can't borrow it. I'm going to call the police on you. Dash Goblin said I have a few Anglo arms knives, 20 quid each. But yeah, good stuff, really, isn't it? JBO, you know what, Jim? Yeah, that's strange, isn't it, that they ask to borrow it and then the next day call the police. Yeah, strange, isn't it? Probably wanted no, who knows? You, you know. Then said more is another cheap knife, but they are amazing. They're cheap, out, they're, they're, yeah, they're sharp out of the box. They are. They're Mora stuff, very good. I'm gonna do a video of all my Mora type knives soon. Have I got that written down? Actually, you're right, Brian. You should see your name come up on here soon. Hopefully, if it doesn't, I'll put it on there. I'm pretty sure it's on there now. Um, Mora type knives. I want to do a video on the Mora type knives. I've got quite a few different ones. Yeah, Mora type knives. I've got quite a few um, Mora type knives that I think people wouldn't have heard of. Dan, if it's all legal and you weren't doing anything illegal, you should get it back. Just keep getting hold of them because what they'll do, they'll probably hope that you leave it and then, you know, tell you, oh, sorry, it's been too late now. So every month or something... Fucking ring them up or some up, you know, or send them a letter, something. 
but don't let them keep it because they can't really. But what they do, they hope you give up. And then after like six months or something, they say, right, you've got a week to pick it up. Otherwise we're destroying it. They did the same thing with my dad's tools. They took a load of my dad's tools, weirdly enough, a load of tools they took before and then didn't contact us, didn't contact us, didn't contact us. And then suddenly contacted us saying, right, you can have your tools back. You have to get them within a week. Otherwise, they're being destroyed. Even though there was ours and there was legal and everything, you know. Fucking tossers. <clears throat> James said, Mike, is £225 a good price for a deactivated folding stock AK-47 or sling and burn it? I'd say so in this day and age, yeah. That's about that's about the old style prices, isn't it? I think 150 quid, say, for the gun... 25 for the bayonet, 10 for the sling. Yeah, I'd say that's all right. I, I don't know definitely, mate, but I'd say that's all. I haven't seen the price. Piat Gages used to be about 150, didn't they? 175. I'd expect them to be more now, though. Dan said, but I didn't say anything about the neighbor's kids trying to shoot my dog. I might ring your bill about that. It's up to you, mate. But yeah, you know, if they're being. They're being weird and that. It's, you know. But it's, yeah, it's a bit of a country thing, isn't it? Oh, can I borrow your gun? And then when you won't lend it, I'm called the fucking police. That's why I try not, you know. Luckily, all my neighbours are all right. But if I had neighbours, the neighbours I don't know, I don't let them know anything what I'm doing. If I can help it. Like my neighbor, both my proper neighbours next door both know me, know everything I do, and don't you know don't care. Um, and they know I'm all right with that kind of stuff, and know what I'm doing and all that. Um, and also, if I if I think they're sat in their garden, I don't anyway, just for their out of respect for them. But you don't have to. Um, but yeah, you have to be very careful with your neighbours nowadays. It's a shame, really. <clears throat> Sol said, Jamie, you're robbing them at that price. There you go. Me, yeah, I haven't bought I haven't bought a Diac for so long, but that don't sound too bad to me. Oh, and the folding stock, yeah, folding stock AK. Yeah, so folding stock AK, yeah, that the folding stock ones was all was always more expensive than the um you know standard stock ones. Tweed rabbits, you right? Sparrow, you right, mate? Yeah, cheers for joining in the um, competition, not the competition, the challenge, Jim. I cut out a little bit of the footage and I blurred out your um, your number on your bin, if you notice. I don't know if anyone... I always do that anyway. I know you obviously didn't care because you wouldn't have left it in there anyway. Do you know what I mean? But um, I just do it out of... Because I do it for my stuff. And I did it for um, Jim M's video. That's, you know, that mentioning it. Tax was there. I had to stop shooting my air rifle in the garden due to the next door. He even moaned about me shooting airsoft. And that's a shame, isn't it? Yeah, well, airsoft's not... That's not going to hurt anyone, is it? Um, you know, and anyone knowing what they're doing with an air rifle ain't going to... You know, Sparrow said, liked, 11 likes, 24 watching. Yeah, get liking. Jim said, cheers for that, Mike. Didn't really think about that. It's all good. I, I noticed a lot of people don't mind anyway, because, you know what I mean? But I'm, I'm you know, I get, I, I always do it for myself. If I accidentally, you know, leave like a bin number in or whatever. Because you know, even your bin shows your bloody, the problem with bins nowadays, it even shows what council you are. So it gives, it can actually pinpoint you quite, you know, quite close to where you live um so yeah i just thought i'd do that i know you probably didn't you know care either way but i just thought i would jim you know what i mean nettle you're right mate how are you i'm on a bit late today i fell a fucking sleep earlier dan said i was i was close to my cousin he was in the army before he died due to an injury he gained while serving i was given his gas mask beret jacket boots the police took all that too what, really, what, with the same shit? Fuck's sake. That's fucking fucked, isn't it? Keep getting hold of them. Don't, don't leave it too long. About once a month, get hold of them saying, you know, can I have my stuff back? Because 
unless they're charging you something, a crime, they can't keep it. Tack two, you're right, mate. So yeah, just just do that. Just keep getting hold of them. Um, because even if they do convict you of a crime anyway, they can't keep that other stuff. Yeah, just keep getting hold of them, getting hold of them. Don't leave it too late. Because that's what they like to do. They like to deliberately leave it. This is what they did with my dad, as I said. They left it, left it, left it, left it. No replies, no nothing. And then they'll suddenly, you know, a year later, send you a letter that turns up a week after it's been fucking dated. So it's already a week out of date. Saying, yeah, you've got two weeks to pick all your stuff up before we destroy it. And then you've got a week left because it's been, it's took a week to get the fucking letter. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Um, Dad said, I think the plod can do that in the US. What, take it and keep it, sort of thing, that what you mean? You know, I think even if you get convicted of things, you can still get certain things back. You know, it all depends what you get convicted of. But, yeah, you can get... Like, Malk had a load of stuff took off of him, and he got convicted of, you know, reasonably serious crime. Um... And he could have got the stuff back had he had the money to go to court. But he couldn't afford it. That's the only issue. When it becomes a big legal case, well, not a big legal case, but when it comes to a legal case, you need the money to go to court. I would have done a crowdfunder if I was in. I don't think he cared anyway. It was all just shitty knives anyway. I'll take, yeah, take it and keep it, Dad, yeah. Len said, um, I have no right to have your air rifle unless they're testing the back. Well, that's probably what they're doing, I'd imagine, Len. You're right there. I forgot about that. I'd assume if he's not being convicted of a crime, you know, not even charged with anything, that's probably what they're going to do. They're probably, I don't know why they took the other stuff, though, but they're probably going to do that. They're probably going to check the um, power on it. JBO said, picked up another knife today. Got a. British type D style survival knife for 25 quid. Fucking hell, Jim. You don't have to get some good stuff where you live. You don't see none of that kind of stuff down here. You have to, I'm looking forward to seeing that. That sounds lovely. Zed said, even if you're even if the person's innocent, they keep it. Yeah, that's sickening, really, isn't it? Dan said, I respect the police and that. Uh, why did they have to take the beret? I can understand everything. I don't I don't know why they take any of the things they take after time and why they leave certain things. You know, I know it's people doing a job in it, but you, sometimes you just can't understand it. Jamie said, how much would you expect to pay for an AK with a bone? I, I ain't got a clue, Jamie, myself, in all honesty. About the price you said, 225 quid. That sounds all right to me, though. Right, Peach, he said, just got a 13 kilogram gas bottle. Nice one. Yeah, have a look how good this looks on this camera, Peach. This camera's perfect for this knife. <clears throat> well, I hope you get your stuff back, Dan. Just keep trying, that's all. Um, yeah. It's your birthday today, T2. I nearly missed that because I saw you talking about the tactical there. Happy birthday, mate. Hope you had a good one. Or having a good one, anyway. Cheers, Pete. Yeah, good, wasn't it? I'm definitely going to do more stuff like that now. Maybe some nice aluminium guards or brass guards, but, yeah. You know, I've always known I could do it. It's just having the patience to do it in one day. That's the only issue. Bank holiday Monday, and I didn't know it was bank holiday Monday till um, well, today, I think. Um, anyone doing anything for bank holiday? Can you do anything on bank holiday at the minute? Do you even sing? You're right, mate. Are you? Dan said they left the Bowie knife that was right next to it, though. I thought that was suspicious. Well, that's the thing. I I don't know. I'll be honest, Dan. I, I don't know what goes on, but um. 
Yeah, it, all, it often surprises me what they leave and what they don't. Zach attacks, you right, mate? Tap two, should no. Every day's a Friday. Still on Friday. Well, yeah, it's like me then. Every day's a fucking Friday. Wolf's head, you right, mate? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, every day's Friday for me. Sort of. Every evening's Friday to me, if I want it to be. <laughs> Sparrow said, was going around my dad's house this weekend to get pissed in his garage brewery. Nice one, that sounds good. I might go out. Well, I could. I have been invited out sort of Sunday. People have said to me, we're getting pissed Sunday. Do you want to come out? I don't know, though. I'm trying to leave it longer between drinking now. Um, was last time I started drinking every week, I noticed some of my joints kept hurting afterwards. I don't want to start damaging my fucking joints. Um, it may have just been coincidence, so I don't know. So I'm going to leave it a little bit just in case. Um... So I might not get pissed this Sunday, but I might get pissed uh, next weekend because it's someone's birthday then. Because if I get pissed Sunday, I'm going to have to get pissed Friday the next, you know. So I'll be getting pissed Sunday and then six days later getting pissed again. And the amount I drink, you know, I always drink a whole fucking bottle of vodka when I drink now. So yeah, I might leave it a bit. <clears throat> Bob, how are you, mate? What else life's treating you? And I said life, not the wife, because we always know the wife's treating you good. <laughs> Dan said, so should I ring daily? I wouldn't ring daily because they might get pissed off with you and get a bit funny about it. Um, but, you know, give it a couple of weeks, see what they say, and, you know, or at least see what comes up first. Do you know what I mean? Um but I'd wait until see what's happening first, and then, yeah, don't go mad ringing every day. Tax is a nightmare. I can't wait to be back playing with this band. Well, I bet, I bet, yeah, if you're not used to being at home, it probably is a nightmare. Are you going to watch a film, Peach? Watch, if you haven't seen it, I reckon you'd like The Autopsy of Jane Doe. Watch that. Quite original film. <clears throat> JBO said, like that new bow you made, Mike. The fuller turned out. Not turn out well. It's good, isn't it? Um, I I'm happy with that. I, I considering that was the first time. I wasn't sure, you know, what it might look like, but it's quite nice, really, isn't it? Thank you, Jim. Bob said, "Lol." <laughs> Wolf said, "Couldn't get a Tomcat too, but I got hold of a Redback Deluxe. Very happy with it. So if anyone wants a stock extender for the Tomcat too, let me know, and you can have it." Just pay me the post. There you go. Did you hear that? If anyone wants a... That's a nice offer from you, Wolf said. Good on you. If anyone wants a stock extender... Yeah, there's my um, Tomcat 2. I'm going to change this. It's not set up properly. I'm going to swap this round. But this is what my... Um, this is what my horizon looks like right now. So one of my quivers, but with just four bolts in it, that's got sort of um, broad heads in. Bayonet. But I think the bayonet would be suited more to that. Torch on the top. That's how mine's set up at the minute. But I think this would be better on the Tomcat too because it's a bit weighty for this. It'd be better on a small carbine, which the Tomcat is. Oh, if anyone wants quivers for... If you want quivers for crossbows, let me know. I've been selling bloody loads of these at the minute. Uh, I don't know the price of the, the bayonets at the minute, Wolf said, but I'm going to make them to sell... I've got quivers as well. These will fit any of the bolts that fit on a pistol crossbow, and you even get the bolts with it. And they just hook, hook on with a sight mount. <clears throat> Where am I? Liam said, yeah, watch that. Really liked it. It's good, isn't it, Liam? Yeah, I'm glad you liked it. I thought you would. Gash Goblin said they could have seized it for investigation if there's a name or regiment number. Ah, right, yeah. 
Your what's the autopsy of Jane Doe? It's just a, just a film. Just watch it. I don't want to tell you anything about it. It's it's good though. <clears throat> it doesn't matter. But the do you have to strip in life rapist knife thing? I think that's from my um piss tank video, isn't it? I'm going to try and catch up. Len said, watched Danger Close about an Australian Kiwis in Vietnam. Well, I'll check that one out. But yeah, Wolf said, I'll, I'll, I'll make some bayonets to sell one day. Yeah, I think that was a, that's a, that's a thing to do with the rapist stripping knife was the, um, yeah. <clears throat> that was the, um, you know, taking the piss out of the government's ban of everything, you know. I don't know what knife that was now, but I probably still have got it. Yeah, when I when I start making them, Wolf said, I'll sort you out, definitely. Sparrow said, how do those broadheads feel? I was considered buying those bodkin-looking broadheads. Uh, you've got there. They fit the quiver. Um, what do you mean? Um... I've not really tested them properly, Sparrow, in all honesty. They're all right, though. Stark, you're right, mate. Also, I think the Tomcat has been discontinued. I think there's only one place that sells it Enfield, Enfield Sports, I think it is. Tax had the, that, yeah, the crossbow is certainly growing arms and bayonets. Then Field FC Sports said, Mike, I've got a gun today. Nice, what did you get? Oh, uh, a hot air gun. Weirdly enough, I bought some hot glue today. That's all right, Zed, don't worry about it. I appreciate you, um, you know, modding anyway. You know what I mean? It's hard to tell sometimes. <coughs> Rich said, point out the quiver. <laughs> Comes with a mount. I think it's important to anybody. Yes. Yeah, they do, they do come with proper mounts. Yeah, it's not just, you know, and it's... Quick release as well. You don't really even need to tighten it. You tighten it up by hand. So that goes on and off within seconds. Goes straight on. But I've been selling a couple of these a week at the minute. Dan said, can you legally carry a box cutter? Mm, well, it all depends what you're doing. Not just walking around the street, no. Um, and there have been workmen who have been, you know, accidentally they've finished working, um, gone down the pub, left their Stanley knife in their pocket, got done for it. I haven't watched Brotherhood of the Wolf yet, Zed, but I've got it downloaded. Sparrow said they also mount on the stock extenders too without a Picatinny. Yeah, good idea. Yeah, I keep forgetting that does that. Yeah, what do you mean? What, explain to me what you was asking about the Broadhead ones. About how they feel? What do you mean feel? Like in? Do you mean how do they feel in the mounts? Um, <clears throat> they fit in there all right. I have wondered if you keep taking them out if they'll cut the O rings, but um, the problem is they're not really made for these, so they do fit in, but it's not perfect. If that's what you mean, um, they do fit in, but yeah, they're not really designed for these, so they do stick in a little bit, and I suspect they probably would cut the O rings eventually. Wolf said the red back is far superior to the Anglo ones. Mantis, better safety features. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, these new ones, the Tomcat 2 and the Horizon, are a hundred percent. They're a massive upgrade to the old ones, aren't they? Um, yeah, big difference. Tack said, Mike, the stuff you're making looks great, mate. Thank you, Tack. Yeah, selling pretty good, these are. These, these are, these are I'm selling, you know, a couple of week at the minute, which is good for me. It all depends how much I advertise them, really. The more I advertise them, the more they sell. Dan Wilson said, have you ever seen the Sister Brothers? No, but that's been mentioned a couple of times, I think. I'll tell you why I did these quivers, Wolf said. I thought they'd be good for... Um, it saves you having to pick up like an arm thing or or anything else. If you ever needed your crossbow instantly, you don't have to fuck about picking up anything else. With that mounted on it already, you've instantly got your bolts. So you don't. So you have to get your crossbow straight away. Grab your crossbow. 
pull a bolt out, you know, cock it, and away you go. You know I mean? you've, you've got your bolts on it, ready. But that's... This is just a demo to different bolts you can take. They take any bolts, basically. Yeah, and that's the, um, the sort of broadhead one. They're not the proper broadhead ones I make. But yeah, I thought they'd be good for that. It's just nice to have a quiver ready on your, you know, have, have six bolts on your crossbow. You know, you can carry more, but I always thought it was good just to have six on there, grab your crossbow, and away you go. You don't have to fuck about that, find anything else. Because they're on the crossbow. <clears throat> yeah, PayPal's fine, Wolf said. Yeah, if you email me, this is my email. And as you see, they still fit everything else on there. Hang on, I've got to take the fun caps off. Only twelve pound fifty as well. It's not a lot. This is my email. Just send me a message saying, you know, quivers. Yeah, twelve fifty. That's ten quid for the quiver and the bolts. You know, that that whole thing. You get the six bolts. Don't have to use them. The mount. You know, everything. Um, yeah, and they just and you can still get a torch on there. A you can get everything. I've got bayonet, handle, you know, you can still get the torch, the handle, the quiver. You can put them in different places. Yeah. Um, Sparrow said, do you need to be glued into the pistol bolts? Yeah, no, they do. I have to complete, you can't just screw them on, um, Sparrow. Yeah, I have to mod those heads on a little belt grinder put an extra bit on the thread to thicken it up to the thickness of the collar, which has to be um, turned down and then they're glued in, but they, they are very, they are well in there. I've seen people shooting them into like a telly and the, the broadhead tips snapped, like the actual tip of the blade snapped off before the actual, you know, the actual blade never came out the bolt. Yeah. Richard said, Mike, you've seen that pistol crossbow prod slingshot channel ad on no, Tomcat. I think he said it was close to £100. Pro I did see that. I did see that. I did wonder, though. I wonder how long everything would last, though, with that kind of power on those old crossbows that are really £40. I wonder how long the string lasts. But yeah, that's a good, that's a very good thing. But yeah, I wonder how long the string lasts and all that. Wolf said, I've been shooting the shotguns. Man, my shoulder's fucked. I saw you. I saw your videos, that, you and your mate. Tattoo said, Northern Ireland is... I think, Tattoo, they do have slightly different laws, Northern Ireland. Or is it... No, I don't know actually saying that, mate. <coughs> Linfield said, we are British and part of the UK, but we make our own laws. There you go. Wolf said, I'll buy a quiver tonight, mate, if you don't mind. Yeah, PayPal's fine, yeah. Just message me. <coughs> In fact... Wolf said, if you message me now, I'll reply now. I'll just send you like a, a copy-paste message that I just sent someone else. Yeah, if you message me now, like right, you know, it don't have to be right now, but I could I could reply to you right now on that email with all the details. All right, that's ready. Bruce was saying it works well with the quiver attached. Good thinking. Yeah, that was that was my idea originally. Because <clears throat> I came up with loads of different kind of quivers. And you can carry quivers in bags and stuff like that. But the problem is, you've got to grab the crossbow. And then you've got to grab a bag. <clears throat> with that quiver, you don't need to do that. And mine are the, truly the only quivers that are that will hold any bolts that... You know, any pistol bolts. The other, you can get quivers that hold more, and they're pretty good, but they don't hold all bolts. <clears throat> Dan said, "Where can I pick up a cheap crossbow? Prepper's shop do some, but you, the, if you want a good crossbow, get either the Tomcat Two or the Horizon Redback. All the others don't even compare to them." Zach Attack said, "Have you ever played Fallout New Vegas? Yes, I love it. I've I've completed that at least three times, I think." 
By the way, if there's any comments higher up I've missed, put them on again and I'll um I'll read it if you really want me to read it. A nice one Wolf said just said prepper shop, yeah. And is your mother on still? He's he knows a place where the horrors ends are um available. Sparrow said got a what's a D D ball P two on the Tomcat. Uh, what's what is that? The thing that makes them stronger. <laughs> Um, red laser, LED torch, infrared laser torch, Flemish twist string, Jaxi prod, roughly hundred pounds in total. Trigger holds fine. Oh yeah, the Tron's all right actually. Yeah, the Tron is pretty good. Yeah. Oh, so you got a good, you got a good setup there, um, Sprout. You ought to do a video on that. Richard, I was thinking on the PSE Viper Venom crossbow to upgrade the power. I think Funky Prepper wanted a more powerful prod. Yeah, yeah, good idea. I've never played Siege. I bet the Tomcat with um, a harder prod would be hard to cock, though, because that's quite difficult how it is at the minute. Um, the Tomcat 2 is much more suited to the more powerful um, prods. Someone was saying to me about making a magazine for these crossbows. I've already tried it, and now I know why it doesn't exist. Um, the issue with those, because I kept thinking, why hasn't George Sprout made a magazine for these ones? And he's just making one for them shitty old crossbows. Because in all honesty, the crossbow he uses for his for his basis of his pistol, you know, his steamboat, that that's quite a shit crossbow, really. They're old shitty things. Old. The issue is though, with these, they've got a little bar that goes across what they call like the barrel or the rails. What happens is I've made I made a magazine for one of these. What happens is when you cock the crossbow, that bar goes back, cocks it. And then when you push it forward, it pushes the bolt back up. Another one will drop down. So the only way you can put a magazine on this, you have to have like a, a false, like a false bolt and a real bolt and a false bolt and a real bolt so that it can push the old one out. Or you just have to take that bar out. But I don't know how well they'd perform with that bar took off. This bar, this is what I'm on about. This is why you don't have a that's why no one's made magazines for these. And I've done it, I've made one. It, you can't use it. This bar just here, when it comes across, yeah. When it when you put the lever back up, it pushes the bolt out the front of the fucking crossbow. And then another one will drop down. It means you'd have to have a magazine with 12, you know, or 11 bolts or whatever. And you have to keep pushing one out every time. <clears throat> or remove that bar, which you could. That That is just an Allen key, but I don't know how well these would hold up without it. The chat's still working, I don't know. It's an old comment for about fucking a couple of minutes. Or are you just listening? Bit of info no one had ever heard, I suppose. But yeah, that's that's the issue with them. That's why, because I kept thinking to myself, why has no one ever um made a magazine for them? That's why they don't work. I made one. Yeah, bloody, I made a magazine for them. Yeah, it fucking didn't work. I suppose, yeah, you'd have to cock it and then press a button to let it drop down, I suppose. That would work, Rich. Um... But people want to just go, you know, cock it, shoot, cock it, shoot. But yeah, if you had a little button, you could press to drop a mat, drop a, drop a bolt in. I suppose that'd still be a lot quicker. Columnus, you right, mate? Oh yeah, nice one. Um, Wolf said, yeah, there it is. All right, mate. Here you go. Here's your, here's the details. I've just sent you like a copy and pasted thing. So, um, hang on. That's better. Yeah. All right. Hang on. Yeah. 
Yeah, there you go. That's done. Yeah, just copy and paste it, so it's a bit of a generic thing, but it's got the it's got the payment details. Yeah, nice one, Wolf. I could probably send you that tonight, because I think if the other bloke sent me the money, I've got another one to send out tonight anyway. No, he's not got back. I could still send yours out tonight, though. You probably won't get it till, um, you know, Tuesday or something anyway. I don't know. And they work Saturday, supposed to. Richard says, yeah, you would need a thing near the bolt to keep it above the bar. Well, you cock the crossbow and be able to disengage it to allow the bolt to lay flat on the rail. Yeah. Um, yeah, that would work. Pity I've took, a, I've took apart the old one. But, yeah, what you'd need is, like, just some kind of button that you could press. Again, though, you're sticking your fingers up near between the fucking... You'd be sticking your finger up between the string. I don't know. But, yeah, but that's a good idea. That's what you want, though. A little thing to then drop the bolt down afterwards. Saint said, would you rather have a crossbow or a sword? Depends what for. Um, I do prefer crossbows in a way, though. Tactical says, stone me. Michael just bludged an email. <laughs> a bit different when money's involved. <laughs> right. Um, what's the PSC fang? Is that that's a rifle crossbow? Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, thing with you know, I don't know. I saw I like the idea of these crossbows with power and magazines and that, but they're also a little bit sort of redundant in a way. Um, because that's the thing, you know, I know a lot of people think George Sprouse like some fucking, um, you know, major inventor and doing all these things. But nearly everything he does has actually been done before, hundreds and hundreds of years ago. And also the other reason it never got made is because it's been it's been massively superseded. The reason people never made any of these things is because firearms came along and it meant mag you know, crossbridge magazines was completely pointless. Don't need them. <clears throat> that's why they don't exist, though. It's not that people never thought of it. They thought something a lot better. Yeah. But he does come up with good stuff. I'm, I'm not putting him down. But, um, yeah. It, it's not as innovative as people think. There's been there's been um, crossbows with magazines on for a long time. This is, you know, they weren't widely about. Uh, but he does, I suppose what George is trying to do though, he's trying to um, fill in a niche where there are countries where you can't get firearms. Um, Wolf said, saw your ash warbo, Richard. Bloody impressive, mate. Um, Wolf said, with the Adam magazine crossbow, you can only use one kind of bolt. So that's a down. Well, there's another downside to it. That's the issue, really. Richard, cheers, Wolf. Um, my second book came out okay. Saints had ever heard of card knives. They're very interesting for self-defense. Yeah, I actually asked the company to send me one of them once. Um, if it's the one I'm thinking of, they might potentially be illegal now. I don't know. Sparrow said, got leftover CP core buffer tube stock if you want it, Mike. Changed it for something else if you want it. Don't want that. Just need the bolt to bolt the cheek riser back together. You'll have to talk to me about that, because in all honesty, I don't even know what that is. <laughs> or is it like like the um these kind of stocks? Is that what you mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's sort of what I thought. Yeah. A nice one. Yeah, you have to email me, Sparrow. But thank you for the offer. I do appreciate that. Sorry if I, I get a bit distracted on here and I realise I sound like an ungrateful cunt. <laughs> Just because I'm distracted. Dan said, will you ever sell knives? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Ned said, the Chinese repeating crossbow was quite effective, I believe. I think they even had ones as a sort of artillery. Well, there you go. That's what I mean. In the day when that was all you had, it was very good stuff. But, um, yeah, the reason a lot of that stuff wasn't developed any further 
because they came up with something a hell of a lot better. You would never look back at the crossbow once you get your hands on firearms. Jamie said they still sell toothpick crossbows on whiskey. I've seen them, yeah. I always instantly think, oh, something like there I am. Yeah, Liam said the Chinese were using them against people with no or light armor, though. They didn't need high draws. Yeah. And that's the thing, you know, it's different times, different different stuff was going on. You know what I mean? Different needs. But I like the crossbows. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but I always thought, oh, I don't know. I, I do think a lot of the prices of these things are very extortionate, though. Way over the top. I think, you know, essentially 300 quid for a magazine. That's a lot of money for something just made out of aluminium that you could knock up in your own house, as George Bradford's proof. <laughs> Tomorrow said Adder can use the red plastic bolts. They're just more chance of breaking with the 130 pound prod. They still work. Uh, there's not as strong as carbon blue ones. Liam said, yeah, it's like you said with firearms. There were times where firearms were less efficient than bowmen, but the training of a good archer took way longer. So spamming muskets worked way better. There you go. Bob said, English man and a bow. Hard to beat that combo. Well, there you go. That was another classic. Yeah, you know, he, we never even bothered with crossbows in this country, did we? And as you say, it, it did become an issue and um, tra train people for them. The, the, the crossbow was easier to use, wasn't it? Alex Saint said, can you buy any deactivated firearms for 100 quid? Does anyone know? Oh, yeah, I bet you could get some. I'll tell you what used to be cheap as fuck. Deactivated shotguns. Single barrel and double barrel shotguns used to be, I think that was like 60 quid. I didn't show this on the video. I burnt my fucking arm when I was making that. Um, when I was making this, I'd been grinding. You know, when I ground the back to get the tang, I went to do something here and my arm just touched the tang and it was still fucking hot, you know, without all this shit on, burnt my arm. I did I did put it in the video, but then I took it off because weirdly enough in the video you couldn't even see it. Liam said some really basic shotguns and training rifles are sometimes under 200 quid. Zed said crossbows were illegal in England. I didn't actually know that, Zed. I didn't know that. That's very interesting. Due to William Rufus business. I, you know what? I never knew that. <laughs> Richard, I don't think a mag on a crossbow would be much faster than loading one. Conventionally, if you practice and drill, loading course. Well, I've always suspected that, Rich. Oh, it's not going to be a lot faster, is it, really? But, don't, you know, don't get me wrong. If people want that kind of stuff, it is good, you know. But, um, yeah, me personally, I've, I've, never, I've never looked at a crossbow and thought, I really, really, really want a magazine for that. Because the, the problem is they're always going to be reasonably slow, slow anyway. Um, yeah, you know, I don't know what to say. It's just not my thing. Because I do think it's good stuff, but it's just, it's not for me, really. I don't know. But I, I might get one of the, um, the Cobra crossbows just for the sake of it, just to, you know, I could make some quivers and that for it then. Um, yeah, I don't know. JBO said to Liam, look at the fall of samurai musket, replace training swordsmen and archers, basically overnight. Very interesting. What was I going to say? I can't remember that. I didn't want to sit here standing like I was knocking George Spravel like that was all. So I was gonna shut up. But I do actually like his stuff and that. It's just for me, it's not my not my cup of tea, sort of thing. But one other thing with George, which I think people miss a big point with George, his strength. 
he can make cocking them things look piss fucking easy. When if you give that crossbow to a small woman, she's not going to be a fucking. You know, she's going to struggle cocking it. She ain't going to cock it like he does. You know, he cocks them things like they're toys. He he, he can cock a fucking hundred and seventy five pound crossbow like that on his fucking chest, like a pistol crossbow. You know, that's that's not a realistic thing for your everyday person. It makes these things look a little bit easier than they are. But oh well, you know what I mean? The prepared Norseman, you're right, mate. They said one thing to think of is the speed you can make. Speed can make you lose accuracy. People will just shoot as fast as they can and not aim all that much. Um, Rob is skull. You're right. He said, I live in the US in Oklahoma. Sorry about losing your firearms. I can carry anything. I just want a driver's license. Just do the best you can. Stay safe. And fight for freedom. Yeah, we're all right. We're all right. But yeah, thank you for the support. Also said, how do I send the payment as friends and family? When you go on PayPal, so you go on PayPal, but the problem is they take like a pound something out of the thing. So you go to send and request. Put the name in. So I'm just going to do a random person here. And then when you put the number in, £12.50, and click continue, it should then let you pick something that says friends and family. So I said, to be honest, you will struggle to keep up with the fire rate of the adder doing normal cocking. Oh, yeah, I'm not saying you'd, you wouldn't be as quick. No way. Never. Because there's extra steps. You know, we've still got to put a bolt in every time. Yeah, no, I definitely wasn't saying that. Um, Dan said, how much do you reckon an old Jetvet cowboy revolver would cost? Loads, 500 quid. Pistols, pistol are always fucking loads. I wouldn't even bother getting a Diet pistol. Yeah. Same shot, Warrior. You right, mate? Bad Norton said, just rewatch the Book of Eli. I must say, the CGI don't hold up all that well. Ah, fuck's sake. That's a shame. I never noticed it when I watched it recently. Dad said, if you have one shot, you'll make sure it's a target. I, I get your point there totally, um, Zed. Yeah. The less shots you've got and the slower you've got, yeah, the more the more you're going to take to make sure it's going to hit, aren't you? But, you, you know, it's... I'm not saying... You know, because I know quite a few of you have the um, the crossbows with the magazines and that, and they are proper decent. And you will be able to shoot that quicker than someone manually cocking one of these and putting a bolt in every time, because there's less steps. You know, you've if they've only got to do that and you've got to do that, but doing that isn't a lot slower. You know what I mean? You, you're always going to be quicker if you don't have to do that. <laughs> Slower, sorry. You're also going to be slower if you've got to do that, if you've got to put a bolt in. But um, you can still cock one, be reasonably quick. Slingshot said, Wolf said, are you ever going to finish that Ash walking stick? And then he said, hello to everyone. But yeah. If you can't, Wolf said, don't worry about it. Just send it anyway. I'll just take the... um. It's anything. It, it fucking charges me money otherwise. And then I end up... You know, I lose money out then. Thank you, Wolf said. That's just come through. I've just seen it. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. Yeah, I just got the notification. Thank you. Yeah, that'll be packaged up tonight and on, on the way to you, mate. Thank you. Richard said, yeah, similar things with bows over £70. I could pull a £100 bow with one finger and make it look like a toy. But most people who don't shoot it wouldn't or couldn't shoot 20 arrows out of a century. Round. Exactly, Rich. Uh, I might stay on till 12-ish, Liam, in all honesty. I ain't got nothing to do tonight. Damien said, have you seen the video on YouTube of the bloke that made his own automatic crossbow? I have. The old bloke. Yeah. The old bloke. I'm subscribed to him. Yeah. Thank you, Sparrow. I appreciate the spot. 
Um, yeah, the old bloke, he's like 70, any yeah, and he's got his old automatic repeating crossbows. I, I like that. They're reasonably slow, though. They, they, they'd be slower than cocking it yourself. But his are totally automatic, so you literally just pull the trigger and it'll slowly pull the string back, shoot, slowly pull the string back, shoot. Now, that is quite innovative. That You know, that's not – I don't know it's slow, but that means anyone could use that crossbow, literally anyone. Yeah, I like his old. I don't know how powerful they are. Yeah, I'm, I'm subscribed to that bloke. I can't remember what it's called now. He, every now and then, he'll do a new video. That's, you're right, Liam. That is what it was. Yeah, because he had bad arthritis. Yeah, Liam said, yeah, didn't he make that as he had bad arthritis? I'm pretty sure you're right, Liam. Yeah. But that proves, you know, anyone can use it. And it gives him, yeah. Bob said, Mike, your quivers are the same reason why I keep some bullets on my rifle stock. Keep it all in one kit. Exactly. Thank you, Bob. Yeah, that's exactly it. You know, you, you can get loads of other, you know, accessories to hold bullets or bolts but it's nice to have some on your gun isn't it it means if you have to grab it that was the whole that's the only reason i made this because i've made arm quivers i've made quivers that you can put on your side but yeah to have some on your gun or on your crossbow you don't have to fuck about trying to um you don't have to grab anything else then do you John said, did you see the 2-2 powder pellet gun? Well, on YouTube, John, not yet, mate, not yet. How are you, John? You all right? Richard said, for a hunter who can cock a crossbow, it'd be perfect. Saint said to Liam, weird question. I found a deactivated AKM for 300 quid with a moving safety. Is 300 pound a good price? Oh, on Twitter, John. I probably have then. Yeah, I, if you put if that's what you put on recently, yeah, I did see it. Did see it. Yeah, because I saw your um, I saw your target practice. Gregory, you're right, mate. And Jeremiah Shine, you're right. Um, Wolf said we'll find another Ashlyn. But yeah, I'm I'm not putting down anyone who's got those crossbows. I do think they're excellent crossbows. For me, they're way out of my price range, and. I feel slightly redundant for me, but I know they are rated massively and they are really good and you will be able to shoot quicker with them. And I also do rate Josh Brav. It's just, again, for me, um, yeah. But he is a good bloke and he is doing some good stuff that, you know, because he's trying, what he's trying to do is innovate for people who can't get things like firearms. Zing Shot said, I... Are you to try the quarter staff reinforced with metal? I'm sorry to hear that all said. Um, I might give it a go. Thing. So I've got a lot of other things on the on the burner at the minute. But when I get round to coming back to stuff, what I think I'm going to start doing next, I've got a feeling my next set of projects are going to be um, homemade daggers and possibly some kind of Blackjack, sap, kosh type things. Yeah, I think that's my next set of um, things I want to do. I've done enough bowies for now. I'll still come back to them when I fancy doing a bowie because they're the easiest ones to make. I'm going to make a gross messer, which will be a great big two-handed sort of short sword thing. So it'll be, you'll be hold it with two hands, big guard, um, and a... 18 inch blade i think big thick blade it'll be five mil thick yeah so i think that's going to be my next current sort of projects gregory said have you seen the streets of america lately guys with the reasons people are in our 50s yeah i have yeah and what's happening that 17 year old don said it may get into a shooting competition nice one john Gregory, yeah, don't bring it up. I'm still sickened about it and don't want to hear about it. All right, we won't. I don't really want to talk about it anyway because it becomes a bit of a sort of shit fest. Um, it's not true politics, but you know what I mean. If people don't want to talk about it, it's, I do like this to be a getaway from the horrible shit. We can come on here and have a bit more of a laugh um, and discuss general stuff rather than stuff that makes you angry. 
Wolf said, when you're limited to using one kind of bolt, you can't find the stock, you're screwed. That's why the adder sucks. Oh, one thing before I go as well, Wolf said, this will fit any bolts as well. So any bolts that are going a pistol crossbow will fit in this. Um, yeah. And if they're a little bit tight, which they shouldn't be, put a little bit of rail lube on the bolt we put it in. But, you know, that's why I provide the, these bolts aren't very good, you know, the cheap bolts. But it's just to prove, you know, no, no one can say my bolts didn't fit. But they do fit any bolts, as I showed. All, partly why all my crossbows have different bolts on them is just to show all the bolts they can take. Um, Smyro said, pick it any bayonets for all waiting, Mike. Yes, that I definitely do. Smyro, I'll tell you what I'll do. The next time, yeah, about the um, about the fucking bayonets. Next time I get my Patreon money, which will actually be in about five days, I'll buy some materials to make three or four um, bayonets. Yeah. I have got some mounts on there. I bought a load of mounts as well, again, because they're good for the crossbow, the, the quivers. Um, but, yeah. The only thing I will say with the mount, not the mount, sorry, with the bayonets... I'm not going to be able to do proper um, like hardened steel um, bayonets, but they'll they'll be they'll be stabbing penetration possible if that makes sense. You know, I ain't got the capability to harden them properly, but that doesn't really matter with bayonet. It just needs to be pointy, doesn't it? But I'll do what I'll do. I'll make them do some tests, and if you're not happy with that, you can have them. If you're not, don't buy them. Sol said, do you need a license for a crossbow? No, mate, no, you don't need a license for one. <laughs> Wolf said, yeah, he's had two rights where I can't wait to ban it if he's into death. <laughs> there you go. Sparrow said, Wolf said, they work with the red bolts in China now making their own 7.5 inch bolts for the R9 for half the price. That's good. At least someone's um, started doing the cheaper things. Things that always said, both staves are Asian. I'm talking about the English quarter staff, similar to, but not the same. John said, just buy a knife blank and screw it onto the Rig of a Picatinny round. He could do. Actually, that's a good point. I suppose I probably could do that. That would actually be... I'll have a look. Actually, you've probably got a good idea there, John. And I'll tell you what else would be perfect. Well, I'll tell you why... You There's an issue with them, though. You've got to be careful with them being sharp all over. Because you still have to hold that end to cock it. So, what, what I've done with this one... You could do this with a knife blank. I know you do this with a knife blank. But this is actually essentially blunt here and completely blunt on the back. So you can still grab it and cock it. Because otherwise, if it, I was going to say you could put a dagger blade on there, but you cut your hand. Because I wanted it so it still penetrate. It's still sharp right there. So there and there. The rest isn't. It, so it can still penetrate, but you can't really cut yourself on it. A couple of issues with them being like sharp looking off. Sydney, you right, mate? There you go. Here it is. Glad you liked it. But yeah, I think actually, John, the, the cheap, how cheap you can get throwing knives or um, blade blanks. Yeah, that would be a good option, actually. It's just I thought if I bought steel myself, that'd be even cheaper. Outdoors addicted to show your knife collection. Well, there's some of them. I've got loads of knives. I've got hundreds of knives. I couldn't show you them all in one thing. There's some there. You pick one, I'll show you it. Things so said, I had the idea of a retractable bayonet on a crossbow. Yes, you did. Yeah, I quite like I don't mind the old fi the fixed ones, all right, though. 
Ah, oh, but you know it. It all depends. But I do put a lot more thought into it than you might think. That's not just rammed on there. That's designed so you won't cut yourself because you still need to be able to cock it. You still need to hold it there to cock it. So that's got to be able to be held. That and also you don't need to put a sheath on it. Thank you, Gregory. Glad you liked it. Sparrow said, not sure. Half the price, I don't care, even if they break. Well, exactly, Sparrow. For, yeah, that cheap. It's all right, isn't it? Because bolts and that can be fucking extortionate. Sydney, yeah, well, the, the bayonets, I'm going to try to make some soon to sell, yeah. Why do you need a bayonet on a crossbow? Why do you need one on a rifle? Rolf says they've got a new quick pistol crossbow slingshot, mate. Horizon Red Bat Deluxe. The sight is brilliant. So many crosshair up. Yeah, they're good, aren't they? They are good. There's, no, there's no Golox on there, no. Oh, over there, you mean? That is a... I can't remember, but that was, that's a um, cookery. This one here, that's my, um, is that what you mean, that one? That's my uh, copy of the Frontier Bowie by Cold Steel. You can get a bayonet for um, for pistols. The thing is, these are so long, they're almost like a little carbine anyway. I have all the fucking shit on these. I've got a torch on the top, which also lights up the rail, so you can see where you're going to put the um, bolt. Bayonet, but I think that would suit that one better. Handle, quiver. Gregory said you should put a pole pressure bayonet on their crossbow. Like the one they have. I have seen them. Yeah, that would probably be quite good. Says Ad, how you doing, mate? You're right. Good to see you on. If you look like, well, I know you look like. If you like, um, I have to say it again. I know you look like weapon stuff. Check out your dad's channel. He's come back from a bit of a um a gap on YouTube, but he's been doing some very good videos again, um, on weapons and that. So yeah, check out your dad if you like weapon stuff. Where are you from, your dad? Is it America or Canada? I can't remember. And he said, hey, Mike, how's it going? I just found three different police agency physical exams due to um, severe colorblindness. Oh, that's a shame. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, that's a big shame. It's funny, isn't it? A little, you know, a little sort of thing like that that's not really going to massively um, affect much. Yeah. That's a shame. Wolf well, said, what brand of torch? That is just, I think that's a, a four, I think it's for four fire. Um, and that's just on a one inch peep through mount, so you can see the sights underneath it. Can you see that? Richard said, just need the night vis on that crossbow now. Like, yeah, exactly. That one's kitted out as well. That's got like everything on it. Sparrow said, I prefer the lightness, um, and modability of the Tomcat. To anything else, to be honest, a lot of potential power in the maneuverable package. Yeah, exactly. That is a lovely little package. That. No, I do like the old Tomcat. I like both of them. Singshot said, "Have you tried buying spear guns, Mike?" George uses them all the time. No, no. Um, I don't know why. I've well, Malk had some spear guns. I think he said they're not very accurate in um. You know, out of water, basically, because they're designed to be shot underwater. I don't think they're very accurate on land, if that makes sense. Outdoor Addiction said, do you buy collect certain brand of knives or just collect whatever you like? Anything, anything, mate. Yeah, yeah, I've never been one for brands. Um, yeah, anything. And if I like the look of it, I'll get it. Or nowadays, if I like the look of it, I'll copy it. 
So I liked the look of the cold steel um, front here, Bowie. I thought, I can't afford that. Let's make my own version. Yeah, I ain't got a lot of money. Very, very, you know, I've, my, essentially my job is YouTube and I don't get paid for it. By the way, if anyone wants to support me, one pound a one pound a month. Support me on Patreon. The link is in the description, or someone can put the link on. Someone put the Patreon link on for me. But please follow me on support me on Patreon. Massively up. Oh, Canada, Shadad. Yeah, good to see you on. By the way, mate. Yeah, check out Shadad's channel. Um, and he's been doing some really good videos lately. And he's just come back as well. Been away for a while, haven't you? I'm going to get your channel up, mate. Share it. You deserve some views because I know since you've been away, your views haven't been the same. But that's what happens when you um when you have a break. Although your views aren't too bad for how long you've been off. Check this channel out. You like weapons and that. So his latest videos was improvised weapons EDC. Self-defense tools, um, advanced personal escape kit, mafia weapons, garrot, another garrot video is pandemic EDC everyday carry. Yeah, so well worth checking out. Richard says spear guns are a bit slow compared to crossbows. The rubber bands have so much mass, they're quite inefficient. Well, so now is the Tron. Um, what's the potential of cocking without using the strip? You can do it, you just have to adjust the front handle i i can't quite do it with how i've got it set up i've heard you have to put the handle right at the end and then you can you've got to hold it a certain way it's slightly not quite easy enough to do that said is that a lever action rifle a or an error that one is a replica technically blow guns in the uk are illegal to even own now Richard said, not sure if we can have CO2 spear guns. I think they would be classed as a barreled weapon. Well, silly, I got the red back from Pepper Shop Tactical. Outdoor addiction. Do you sell knives? Not at the minute, but I, I would do, yeah. If, put it this way, if, yeah, de definitely yes. I, I, I don't sell them, like, regularly, but eventually I'm going to start making some of these to sell because I know quite a few people have said, yeah, I'd have one of them, I'd have one of them. Um, but I'm, I'm well up for making knives to sell to people, yeah. I might start doing it, might start doing some copies of these and putting them up for sale. Gregory said, can you guys open carry crossbows, knives and swords? No, you can't open carry anything, really. Um, no, I think he was just answering you no, know, as in not, he wasn't saying, Zed wasn't saying no to the politics. He was saying, no, we can't carry it. He was just answering for me. Um, no. Although, was, oh, I don't know. There'd been, if you was carrying, you know, if you was walking around in a field doing some hunting, you could have a rifle on your back. Yeah, but um, you certainly couldn't walk down the street with it or a knife on your... It all depends, but no, essentially no. But there are some things you'd have, you know, you can, you know, I know people who have gone down the woods with a you know, gun on their back and they've been fine. Just all depends where you live and all that. Big B, you're right, mate. He said, did you see the airbows got classified as not being a firearm by the firearm boss? No, I did not see that. That's good. That's all right then, isn't it? Yeah, I'll get a bit wary about some of that stuff till you know what it's going to be classed as. Wolf said, said you can carry a recurve and a quiver of 12 arrows in public legally. Nice one. That's a good... Good... Um, I can't think of the word. Yeah, that's something I didn't know, put it that way. Outdoor addiction said some states here in the US people walk around with AKs. That's it, I've seen it, I've seen it, yeah. 
Liam says, saying that, I've never had an issue walking a mile to the mates with rifles and the gunslinger. <coughs> That's sort of what I was getting at, Liam. <coughs> yeah, I suppose it all depends what you're doing. But yeah, you, you can, and I know that's not open carry, but essentially people would know that was a gun, wouldn't they? Um, yeah. It all depends where you work, where you're walking, how you look, all that bollocks, but essentially really no. Big B said they, um, they had to be modified so they couldn't have a projectile put down the launch tube, but they can still fire arrows. Not sure if you're allowed to hunt with them, though. Yeah, I'd probably assume no. Um, but yeah, that's how much are they? Do you know, are they reasonably priced. <laughs> Seeing shot said, in that case, you could buy an arrow rifle, Mike. Yeah, get on Patreon and start supporting me. Because the problem is, I have no income. But I'd, I'd be up for buying these things if I had the money. But um, yeah, I can't afford things like that. Yeah, 500 quid. I'd rather, yeah. There's a lot of other things I'd spend 500 quid on. Sparrow said, Lol, US Open Carry, AK and ARs. UK tradesmen get arrested for carrying a multi tool. Yeah, exactly. Here's the latest one I've done. Quite happy with that, especially that pommel. I've completely handmade that pommel. Cut out of a big block of aluminium with a saw, hand saw, hacksaw. Yeah, be some daggers coming soon. Thank you, Sparrow. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. Slingshot said, are Panadarts legal in the UK? Yeah, I'd pretty much say they would be legal. Yeah, they'd be all right, um, Slingshot. They'd be legal. Sadly, I can't afford to, Gregory. Yeah, if I was rich, that might be an option. If they'd let me in, I suspect they might not even let me in. Don't know how... Um, strict there, um, your custom, you know, and Im immigration things are, but yeah, that would be an option in, in the ideal world. Yeah, that would be a lovely thing to do. I would move over there and I'll start a custom knife, and it'd actually be a knuckle duster business custom made brass knuckles and um, um, trench knives maker. I would, I'd become. But the issue is, a single unemployed man probably wouldn't even let me in. You know, I, I don't know what America are like, but a lot of countries wouldn't let a single. You know, I, I do have at least my. I got, I'm the right colour at least. I don't mean that as an insult to anyone, but you know, um, <laughs> if things are be, to be believed, yeah, a lot of the time, skin colour can be a bit of an advantage. Anyway. Um, going down a rabbit hole there. Um, but yeah, I'm a single unemployed man, no children, no family. I doubt they'd let me in. JBO, what's a pan of dart? Yeah, it's like a dart with a little hook on it, and you shoot it out of a slingshot. So you essentially pull the dart back over like a piece of you know string instead of a pouch. And that, and then you let it go, and that shoots. That says, "Sorry, Mike, you wouldn't have a chance of them letting you in." I don't think they would. I generally don't think they would. I don't. I'd be able to go, and I don't. I don't think they would. Yeah. Rose, I, it met, Gregory said, Mike, if you move to Northern Mexico first, then cross the border. <laughs> so become a double, a double illegal immigrant. <laughs> As I say, Trump, Trump would probably welcome me in. I don't know about um. 
Oh, it's friendly, all right, mate? Sydney said, have you ever used a Fiskars brush hook? That's a brilliant tool. But I'd love to see you modify it. I haven't. I have got. Let me just look what a brush hook is, if it's if that's what I think it is. Yeah, look on my channel for... Um, what's my fucking halberd video called? I've, I've modified something very similar to that. Uh, what the fuck would it be called, that video? I hate to look for fucking videos. Can't even remember the title of it. What did I call that fucking harbour type thing I made? Oh, Bill Hook. Where's Bill Hook, Bill Part 1? There you go. Watch this. So, who was it saying it? Um, Sydney, yeah, I watched this. Yeah, I suppose that's quite similar. <laughs> I don't take that as an insult, Wolf said. Wolf said, said, Mike does look a bit Mexican. Just kidding. I don't take it. I do, I think I might have a bit of, a, I could probably, I reckon if I got a bit of a tan, I probably could fit in with the Mexicans. I reckon so. I can see that, honestly. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Soon get a bit of a tan over there, wouldn't I? I reckon I could fit in with them. Slingshot said, This is one American that would love to have you. Uh, but right now, we're in the beginning of a civil war. There you go. Yeah. I'll, I'll stay away for now. But no, I would love to. I'd love to live in America. That'd be my one of my ideal places would to be li to live somewhere in America where I could make custom brass knuckles and trench knives and stuff like that, maybe other things. Um, and I would really innovate in that kind of um, situation. But um, yeah, can't do it over here. Jamie said, what do Mexicans put under their carpets? An underlay. <laughs> That's right. Just checking my paper, see if there's any more we can put in there. <laughs> Anyone join the Patreon yet? Come on. Don't disappoint me. It's only one pound a month. Oh, come on. You're letting me down now. Come on, one pound, one dollar a month. Get on there. You'd be, you'd be really sporting us. Me, not us. Outdoors Addiction said, what country from again? England. I'm an English outdoors. Uh, Wolf said, I'd love to live in South of America, man. The woods look so good there. Yeah, you're right. It does look nice. Slingshot said, no, you couldn't, Mike. Um, your features are too angry. Do you reckon? Do you reckon, Slingshot? you reckon I wouldn't? Gregory said, out of his own Texas, living out in the boonies alone would be a good place to do that, Mike. Yes. Big B said, what state would you move to? I personally, Texas or North Carolina. Yeah, one pound or one... Well, yeah, one pound is like one dollar thirty, something like that. But yeah. But yeah, one pound is about one dollar. It's, it's the equivalent of that, yeah. But you can donate in your own... You can now donate in your own currencies. So when you go on there, you can choose pounds or dollars. Oh, I was right then, Zed. Yeah, one thirty. I only guessed that, but I know... I know around about what it is. I don't, in all honesty, I don't know a lot about the, um, what states are what, but it would have to be a not too hot state. Well, I don't know, the heat may be different over there anyway. Um, cold don't bother me. One where you could legally make brass, because I know there are some states where you can't, um, you know, brass are illegal in some states in America. Or to carry anyway, maybe. Maybe they're not illegal anywhere to own. But um, I know some places. That may just be New York. Where, like, New York banned some weird stuff, in it? 
Uh, yeah, I'd have to look into it. I don't really know because, I, in all honesty, unless I win the lottery, it's never going to happen. Uh, um, yeah, don't know. Maybe I'd go to Hollywood and live with all the celebrities. <laughs> what am I getting stoned and pissed? And, oh, not stoned, but <laughs> what am I getting drunk and doing some drugs with some um, famous people? Singh Shaw said, um, you Brits should buy paintball guns. Jeremiah said, we can carry swords here in Indiana. Also said, watch Singh Shaw's vacation videos, waterfalls and everything. I've watched them. They're good, aren't they? Yeah, his um, cousin did a very good job editing those. Yeah, Gregory said, if you get into making the modified guns in the US, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't do no gun stuff. Um, but yeah, brass knuckles and knives, yeah, I'd be suited down to the ground doing that. Yeah, come over to England. It's all right over here. I have an American mate who comes over and visits me from Baltimore. So he said, the pole arm looks sick. I've got it on my PC. Nice one. Yeah, you should like that. Richard Mike also says bathwater on Patreon. Yeah, or was that Belle Delphine? I get confused. <laughs> Maybe both. I don't know. She charges more than me, though. Yeah. Did I, did, anyone, did I put the Patreon link on? There you go. Click that. Please support me. It's not that big enough. But no, it generally does actually help. But I'll tell you why. I don't actually have a traditional job. My job is YouTube. My job is selling and making stuff like quivers. So guess how much money I've made this week? Guess how many? Uh, guess how much money I've earned this week? Right, go on. And I'll, e I'll even include a quarter of the Patreon money. Because that goes towards, you know, most of you don't know. But guess how much money I've earned this week? But considering I've sold two quivers, which is, yeah, and this is everything. So every bit of income, yeah. Sydney's about right, about 30 quid. I earn, on average, my entire income from everything, about 30 quid a week. That's my whole entire income from my whole entire, everything. You know, because I don't sign on. I don't, um, yeah. I don't get benefits. And my traditional work is YouTube. Now, don't pay me. So I get all my money from Patreon selling stuff, basically. Things so I said, remember what I said, Mike? But more like London, very dangerous. Yeah, but London's not that dangerous. That's the thing. It's a bit like, you know, there's in every area, there are dangerous bits. You know, yeah, in London, there are definitely dangerous bits. But there's also bits you can go perfectly fine. You know what I mean? But yeah, I've, in all honesty, the chances of me going to Baltimore are very, 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 very slim. I can't afford it, and I'd need thousands of pounds to do that. But I appreciate the warning. But, yeah. You know, my, my mate who comes here has been to London three times with me, never had a single issue ever of anything, nothing. You know, never never had a single, you know, even not even a scare of anything threatening in London. But if you went to the wrong places, yeah. James said, I always thought he was a big international arms dealer. <laughs> Tactical says, sign on till sanction you for daring to be a free thinker. People keep saying to me, because at the minute you can sign on for um without having to go in there. But I um I don't want the bother of it in all honesty. Thank you, Sparrow. I appreciate that. You have you been a supporter before, ain't you? Is your name still on there? I worked your name on there. Thank you, Spray. I appreciate that. But it all does massively out. And it's not a lot. You know, if you if you donate like one dollar, no one's gonna miss one dollar a month. It's a month as well. It's one dollar a month. But when it all adds up, it massively helps. Thank you, Sparrow. There you go. Anyone want to beat Sparrow's donation? <laughs> but generally when because you've got to remember. All of that Patreon money is where that's how this was made because I wouldn't be able to buy the blank or the leather or anything without the Patreon money. 
So it all comes back to you in the end. It does. The Patreon money all goes. I do get a bit of money from other places, like my Amazon ads. But the Amazon ads, that might be three quid a, three quid a fucking month. Big B said it's shit right now, man. I couldn't even find a job at McDonald's. Uh, and they aren't even hiring in Newcastle. That's terrible, isn't it? Also, I'd never go to City Slingshot. Never had a reason. I'll stay in the Shire. Yeah, I come from a Shire as well, Wolf said. Gregory said to me, if you move to America, move to Montana or Wyoming. There's a northern state. It's lots and lots of land. Not too many people. Really cold in the winter there. Sounds all right to me. I don't mind cold. Things sort of said, good idea, Wolf said. Mike could play an ancient arms dealer. But I don't think he means old. Yeah, there's a lot of very nice places in America. Things sort of said, you can legally buy black powder revolvers. I think you can, yeah. I don't know what you, I don't know what kind of lies, I don't know what you need for them. I, in all honesty, I have no idea. Keep an eye on there. See if the name of the sparrow comes up. Yeah, I don't know. I know you can. There is something to do with um, black powder rolls, but I've, I can't bloody remember now. Is it black power? Is it rev I think the revolvers, though, you might need a license for. I think a single shot one. You know what? I don't know. And it might be the age as well. Um, Sydney said, Is anyone excited for Mafia Remastered? You know, I've never played that. I'm playing Zelda Breath of the Wild at the minute. Wolf says, do you have a firearms license? I'm like, no, I ain't got nothing like that. Wolf said, no, I, I don't want um, I don't want the police to just be able to just walk in my house anytime they want, even though I'm not doing anything illegal. I had enough bother with the police over my time that um, I want to avoid them as much as possible. Again, not that I do anything illegal, but once you've got a once you've got a firearms license. You're sort of essentially renting your own guns, aren't you? And they could take them off you just like that. I have known people on here, English, what's his name? English, um, oh, sorry, Slingshot. I thought you were talking about England. Yeah, sorry, Slingshot. He said, Yeah, you need no license for any black powder in America. Like, sorry, I thought you were talking about England. Yeah, English shooting. Basically got his firearms license took off him for talking politics on YouTube videos and about his mental health. So, yeah. Very dodgy sort of, you know. That must have been some grass, though. Some grass must have watched that and told the police, though, because, you know, unless the police was watching. But There's always one thumb down, isn't there? I think some. I think one of the thumbs down is someone who doesn't like being asked to like things, so they dislike it. Yeah, English shooting. Cheers, Liam. Zach Attack said, "Have you ever played Detroit: Become Human?" Yes, I have. That's quite a good game. Yeah, I like that. The game I'm playing right now. I'm playing Zelda on the Nintendo, and I'm playing uh, the Infectious Madness of Doctor Decker on PS4. That's pretty good as well. Big B said, they can show up at your home and search through your stuff anytime you like. Exactly. That's why I don't want a firearm license. Again, I'm not I'm not doing anything illegal, but I just don't want them to be able to do that. Dad said, I wonder if you can own a duck's foot pistol here. It's a black powder gun after all, but you can't. I'll have to look that one up, Zed. Oh, nice. Yeah, that old fucking thing. Yeah. I, who knows? I have seen all of the cent Human Centipede films, Jamie. Yeah, I actually thought the second one was the best. Gregory said to me, we should rearm the British people. Um, US Americans should fight for our fellow 
freedom lovers. The problem is, I appreciate the sentiment. The problem is, over here, there's no gun culture anymore, and people don't like it. The amount of people who are into guns um, isn't really enough to ever get it back, because most people think guns are violent. You know, people who have guns are murderers and violent. You know, they it, that's the culture in this country now. There there's, really is no big gun culture. It's a very niche thing now. Tomorrow I said, also known as Broadmoor Simulator 2020. Oh, what? Yeah, Dr. Decker. Yeah, oh, yeah you've been watching it, haven't you, Spray? That's good, though, isn't it? Big V said, didn't they take his FAC because he was advocating for more firearms? Oh, maybe I'm wrong, then. I thought he said it was because of um, talking politics and... Well, I sp yeah, but I suppose advocating more firearms rights is politics talk, really, isn't it? I may be wrong. I don't know. Seeing Shot said, are you ever going to buy an arming sword, Mike? Maybe, yeah. I wouldn't say no. Wolf said, I'm playing the long dark. I played the long dark. So I was for 700 days. Nice. That's fucking decent. Yeah, I ended up dying on that. So I went through a bloody fire door and then couldn't get back through and then I froze to death. Sydney said, what's the story about the obsolete calibers? Surely if it's functional, someone could make a cartridge. Yeah, I suppose they just see it as it's hard to get and yeah, but yeah, then you know, a lot of those without going into too much detail over it. Yeah, there's plenty of other places, other countries who do the who, who we, um cartridges from, but I won't say any more. That was a, crims can get any gun. Well, that's the thing as well, actually. Yeah, a criminal, if a criminal wants a gun, they can get a fucking gun, can't they? Yeah. Exactly tactical. The crims can get any gun they want for cheaper than we pay for any Diac. Wolf says, had Human Centipede was the most fucked up thing I've ever watched. Have you seen the second one? The second one's proper weird. Shally, you're all right? How are you? Things Shot said, Wolf said, have you ever thought about buying throwing axes? Big B said, there's a company in Leeds that sell cartridges for obsolete calibers. Well, there you go. That's what I mean. Wolf said no, but I can throw a normal axe. Well, there you go. Well, that's the thing. You know, you can get... I bought a little hatchet for my throwing axe. You know, it's not a dedicated throwing axe, but you can throw it, can't you? That's what I bought that. It didn't look like this when I bought it. It looked really shit. Yeah, I think it had like a bare wooden handle. This was covered in shitty old paint. I did some firework on the back. Nothing fancy, but, you know. But that works perfectly for a throwing axe. Shelly, sir, uh, do you still Twitch? Must have missed the notification. Yeah, yeah, I've been doing Twitch the last couple of days. Yeah. Go on there. Yeah, here's my Twitch, if anyone wondered. Um, actually, there should be a thing. There should be a, a Nightbot thing for Twitch, isn't there? Don't matter. Yeah, I, I was on Twitch last night for an hour and a half. The night before that, nearly two hours. Yeah, I'll still do Twitch. Must not be sending out the notifications now. No one else going to go on Patreon? Come on. If you go on Patreon, you get your name on there as well as a thank you. Yeah. I've got a bit of hair that needs shaving on the back of my neck there, Gregory. Right, there's the Patreon link. Sydney said, have you ever sharpened an axe that's sharp enough to carve with? No, no. No, this ain't nowhere near that. Shelly said, damn, missed them. Hopefully catch your next one. What's your name on there, Shelly? You always confuse me because it ain't Shelly, is it, or is it? Wolf said, Zach attacks. I love your Doom avatar, mate. I have every version of Doom. Where is Zach? Oh, there it is. Oh, he said, are you going... Sorry, I missed that, Zach. Dax. He said, are you going to get Cyberpunk 2020? Yeah, 2017. Yes, that's Two Tooth Terror. I thought it was. Yeah, I have been on, Terry. Yeah. Zach, Dax, I am going to get that. Yeah. 
There's Gregory in the UK right now. It's 10 to midnight. Tactical said, we've all been watching crazy swimming women. Yeah, crazy nude swimming women. You're missing out there. You've missed out on a good one, Terry. Good night, Liam. I'm going to stand for a little bit more. Maybe quarter past. I don't know. See how it goes. I'm going to do a chopper in a minute and chop the ears off. Singsot said, in that case, Wolf said, Tomahawks uh, up your alley. Wolf said, Mike, that axe blade is too thick for throwing. Uh, yeah, it works, though. I've got a video of me throwing it. Yeah, I know, probably not suited, but yeah, you can um, you can throw it, though. That's what I mean, you can throw it. I've got videos of me throwing it. Look up, well, just look up axe throwing on my channel. I am a bit of an amateur thrower, but I can throw things. There you go. Here's my very amateur axe frame. Now, I won't be on Twitch after this, um, Terry. Um... But I'll probably be on Sunday, maybe, possibly Sunday, but I'll be on a Monday. Actually, if I get pissed Sunday, I won't. But I don't know, we'll see what happens. But check it out, I'll be, I'll be on soon. The architects have got all the dooms, just need eternal now. Kekistan, that rings a bell, but I don't really know what it is, in all honesty. You're off as well, Jamie, good night, mate. Get like in the stream before you all go off. You're off as well, Jim, good night, mate. Yeah, I'll be off. I might stay on for another 15 minutes. Let's we'll see what happens, see where the chat goes. Nah, I'm not getting pissed tonight, Sydney. He said you get pissed tonight. No. No, if I do get pissed this week or this weekend, it'll be Sunday. But I might leave it because I'm, it's someone's birthday next Friday, so I'll probably get pissed for that. Singshot said, but an axe like that has bounce back, Mike. You can buy a set of throwing axes for cheap. Yeah, I, I might, yeah. If I ever get, I, I got this to mod it, really. That's really what I got it for. Um, and then throw it. If you watch that video, you'll see me throwing it. Um, but yeah, some stuff that's designed for um, throwing would be better, wouldn't it, Singshot? I only drink one day a week, if that now, because I'm a I'm a controlled alcoholic. I used to get absolutely fucking paralytic every day. Um, yeah, but when I because you know I think some people mistake what I mean by drinking every day. I didn't drink every day. I used to get blind drunk every day because there's a difference between drinking every day. You can drink every day and never really have a problem. I used to get absolutely fucking pissed out of my face, blind drunk till I was unconscious every day. Um, yeah, I am an alcoholic, but I can control it now. Except when I drink, I drink way too much. I drink a whole bottle of vodka now when I drink. So I try to only drink once a week at the most. I try to do it every couple of weeks. I should check that out, Gregory. Sparrow said, waiting excitedly for my name to come up on the screen. Behind. Has it come up yet? I can't remember if it's already on there. Is it already on there from last time? If not, I will add it. Is it on there now? Or, or do you mean you're waiting for the future time? I couldn't remember. if Because I thought, hadn't you been on the um, Patreon once before? Ah, uh, you have to wait then, Sparrow. I'll add it. I'll add it after this. Yeah, I'll have to add it, but I wasn't sure. I thought you'd... And you've been a patron once before. Yeah. Yeah, I must... When you stopped, I must have took it off. There's some of them need to come off, actually. There's a couple on there who aren't supporters anymore. How do I learn... How do I learn... How did I learn to control drinking? I went to prison. That's what stopped me drinking. And then I thought, right, here's your fucking chance. And I went to prison due to drinking. You know, it, if it, I hadn't been... I pissed and I wouldn't have gone to prison. Uh, this was 20 years ago, so it's ages ago. But um, 
I thought to myself, now this is my only chance, you know. I've been I've tried to give up. The longest I'd ever given up for was like two weeks. Six years of drinking, you know, and getting pissed, proper pissed every day. Um, the longest I'd ever stopped was two weeks. Yeah. And then I thought, um, well, stop, stop now while you can. And then I stopped drinking for about five or six years. And then I've gradually got back into it, but I'm older now, older and wiser, as they say, but I can, I'm not interested in any of the bullshit that comes with it anyway. Now I just like to drink. Um, having extremely bad hangovers helps though. <laughs> That's how I Mike, if you overdo it one night, drown on your own vomit, can I have your crossbow collection? Fuck's sake, don't say that, sir. Uh, I don't know. You can have a couple of them. <laughs> I think my brothers would like them first. Singing Shot said, yeah, Mike, it would be. But it's funny how ninja stars abandoned the UK, which aren't even made to kill. But Tomahawk's are legal. It's much more lethal. Yeah, bizarre, isn't it? Sing I don't know what our government goes, you know, why they're so weird about the stuff they ban. Well, as I say, Sydney, I only stopped because I was in prison and I had no choice. You know, I could I thought I thought if you're in if you're in prison and it's your chance to give up and you choose to still somehow get booze in prison. You never, you, you're going to die from it, basically. You and me, I would have. And it was getting to the stage where I was either going to fucking do something really bad or I'm going to get killed myself or something stupid. You know what I mean? It was getting like that. So I had the opportunity and I took it. But I had to hit sort of one of the ultimate rock bottoms to stop. That's sometimes what you need. I know it sounds terrible, but sometimes alcoholics need something really bad to happen to open their fucking mind up to it. Because you just tell yourself, no, nah, I'm all right. I ain't that bad. You know what I mean? Even though you've had multiple, 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 multiple warnings and all, you know, you just keep saying, nah, I ain't that bad. Or I don't want to stop. I'm not doing anything. But yeah. A bit, you know, I wasn't in prison for a long time, but long enough to stop drinking and then um, decided to stop it. Yeah, and then I was all right. And then I gradually got back into drinking, as I say, but I can control it now. I used, Terry, I used to make shitloads of homebrew, hooch, but um, I had to stop it because I think I, I think that was making me slightly ill. Tat said, good night. Oh, good night. Tactical. Yeah, cheers, mate. And he said, don't forget the lights, Steve. Zach says, what music are you into? Anything, really. I like. Um, I like uh, 80s music. I like a bit of anything, really. But I, I, if ever there was a genre of music that I tend to like more than others, it, tend to be, it tends to be 80s music. But I do like a bit of anything. I listen to very random. You know, I can listen to Motorhead, Madness, No Doubt, Kate Bush, you know, some modern music, Oasis, you know, loads, loads of different random, completely different things. I've never made moonshine purely because um, I don't want to risk distilling it without knowing what I'm doing and you know, hurting myself. Well, well, actually, I have got a video of that, Terry. Probably a bit boring videos because it is literally just how you do it. But here you go. Click this. Do you know what, Stug? For some reason, 60s and 70s music doesn't do anything for me. Most 60s and 70s music, I listen to it and I just, it doesn't do anything for me. But 80s, there's something about the sounds of the ages. I think it depends what other people listen to, like what your family listen to. Um, my dad never used to listen to music. Um, and then when he did, it was only later on and, you know, in his car and he'd listen to a bit of, he used to like a bit of um, country and Western sort of stuff, uh, which I don't mind. I don't mind a bit country and Western, but because I was born in the eighties, the, the most music I ever heard was eighties music. And that tends to be what I like. I do like 90s music. The problem with 90s music, though, a lot of 90s music reminds me of 
the best years of my life. And instead of making me happy, that makes me a bit sad that I can't have those days back and I can't have that mental state back because I'm very paranoid now due to drinking and drugs and shit. And yeah, and I, I would love to have them days back being sort of carefree and not having a fucking really paranoid brain. And it, I can't listen to 90s music. I can't listen to Oasis. Um, no, do you know what, Sydney? I've only ever heard one Beatles song I like. And because I've always said I don't like the Beatles, right? So to prove to myself and to actually be able to say, you know, if people said, do you like the Beatles? I'd say no. they say, oh, have you listened to all of it? I'd say no. Apart from one album, which I haven't got around to yet, I've listened to every other bit of their music and it literally does literally nothing for me. Only The only Beatles song I like is Here Comes the Sun, which was written and sung by George Harrison. I don't like the sound of um, Paul McCartney and John Lennon's voices. But saying that, I do like a couple of John Lennon songs on his own. It's very bizarre. The Beatles does nothing for me at all. Yeah. Yeah. But actually, Stug, I don't mind a bit of 90s rave music. Because that we did used to listen to a bit. Um, I never used to go raving, though. It wasn't really... I ne you know, them kind of drugs never really sort of did much for me. There you go, Irishman. Yeah, English band don't like the Beatles, exactly. Yeah, they don't literally don't do anything for me at all. Ha! <laughs> Mark Chapman, Simplizer. Not quite, not quite. <laughs> fuck's sake yeah the stones was always better than the beatles i probably there's probably more rolling stones songs i like than the beatles definitely um but yeah there's something about the beatles that just it don't do nothing for me i'm not saying they're shit or nothing because that's you know to say a band's shit is sort of bollocks because it's all um personal preference isn't it um you know that's why i say i don't like them i don't say they're shit i don't like them though it does nothing for me but that doesn't mean they're crap. Um, yeah, the Beatles literally does nothing for me apart from, yeah, here comes the sun. Just, I just like that one. It's the only, it's the only, I deliberately listened to, you know, loads and loads and loads of Beatles songs, the whole lot of them, apart from one album. Um, purely to prove to myself, do I like them or don't I? But I like the Smiths. I like the Smiths and Morrissey. Oasis, No Doubt, Madness, The Cure. Um, Kate Bush. Stereophonics. Travis. Um, and there's, there's some modern music I do like. The sort of heavy metal, a bit of Motorhead, sort of heavy metal sort of stuff I never really got into. Alice in Chains, I don't know a lot about them. I, I am quite a fan of Madness. So I've got, I, I think apart from their newest album, I've owned everything they've ever done. Susie in the band, she's never got into Zed. Yeah, a lot of that music, I think, as I say, it depends on if you hear it enough as a youngster or whatever. But, yeah, my my preferred music tends to be 80s music. And even if it's 80s music I've never heard, I tend to like it because I like the sounds of... Um, there's something about the way 80s music sounds. It sounds different than 70s music. 70s music sounds different than 60s music because of the, the instruments and shit they was using. You know, 80s started coming in with the electronic sort of music and it don't sound like no other um, era. Not, none of the eras sound like it. And a lot of music nowadays all just sounds the fucking same, doesn't it? A, a lot of music nowadays is more about the beat than the actual singing. But I like I actually like a certain way of singing as well. You'll notice I don't know what the singing style is, but if you look up the singing style that I like, there's a certain style of singing that I prefer. I used to say, what's the first signs of madness? Sucks. 
I'll check out Alison Chancellor. So. ELO, I have listened to a bit of ELO recently. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Pretty sure there's quite a few ELO. Yeah, actually, yes, because I'll tell you what we was listening to recently. Um, is that what the song was called? Or was that the album? Out of Nowhere. One of the songs from Out of Nowhere, if that's a song we've been listening to recently. We listen to music in the Wendy House. What happens is that. A certain time of night when we're all starting to relax, instead of just putting any music on where everyone keeps, oh, I don't like that. So when it's your go, you get to put a song and the next person gets to pick any song they want. And otherwise, it's just everyone sat there fucking arguing, but oh, I don't like this kind of music. So you get to listen to a lot of different music that way. If you let everyone pick a song when it's their go, and you get to listen to what you want to listen to as well. Sparrow said, "Steel Panther, Mike. Lyrical, lyrical, lyrically geniuses. Seriously, look them up. Your mind will be blown. All right. If this stops moving, I'll search it now. Can't promise I like it. They certainly look different. Oh, right, I check. I've got one open now. I've just. I've got um." Deaf to all but metal, explicit, the burden of being wonderful, community property. Is that them? Yeah, right, sure, yeah, it's done it, Zed, that way. All right, Big B, what's that? What is that? Um, oh, you talk at Sydney there. I look into that. Slingshot said, and I listened to an 80s band called Man of War. One of the songs gives me strength to keep fighting. It's called Heart of Steel. All right. I'll tell you what's on my playlist if you want. I have a very random taste in music, as I've said. Where's my fucking playlist? All right, here's my songs. So I've got on here Roy Orbison, Blue Bayou, Shakira Shewolf. The Kinks Come Dancing, Oasis, The Cardigans, Kenny Rogers, Foo Fighters, Unknown Orchestra, Danzig, Miley Cyrus, Shell Crow, Sophie Alice Baxter, Alanis Morissette, uh, Monty Python's Men of the Life Galaxy Song, LaRue, Damien Dempsey, Icona Pop, Gorillas. Um, Indians in Moscow, Johnny Cash, Roxy Music, Soft Cell, Pearl Jam, um, The Levelers, Cranberries, Ian Brown, Marina and the Diamonds, Bat for Lashes, Travis, um, Beautiful South, Orbital, Romper Stomper Theme, Morrissey, Public Image Limited. Coldplay, Gordon Lightfoot, Motorhead, Stereophonics, Florence and the Machine. So, like, literally any fucking thing. Anything. Credence Clearwater, I'm pretty sure I've got one of their songs on that playlist. But I like just a lot of random stuff. Weezer, Cindy Lauper, Howard Jones, Jimi Hendrix, Kasabian, Queen... Lana Del Rey, the Mulholland Drive, um, a song from that, Hall and Oates, Dream Academy, loads of shit. There's loads, loads, loads of Miley. I'll tell you the Miley Cyrus songs I listen to. Um, it's the two druggy ones that she done. So it's it's not like her kiddie songs. She's got two songs. Um, Slide Away. That's actually quite a good song. And the other one's the other one. I can't remember what it's called now. Yeah. Not all of us. Yeah. What's your Sydney? Yeah. No, no, so I'll listen to anything. I don't need two Miley Cyrus songs I've listened to. 
they're both they're both drinking and drugs songs basically and you know i can relate to that <laughs> Uh, Big B said, I can go from death metal to thrash to country to stoner to trance and back to metal. Exactly. That's what I'm getting at. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I can listen to any fucking thing. But black metal, sorry, I don't know what that is. A lot of these, yeah. Dean said, the only reason I like Two and a Half Men is because Charlie Sheen is in it. And Martin Sheen's in the pockets now. Oh, yeah. Apocalypse Now, Apocalypse Now Redux is very good. Yeah, I like I like Charlie Sheen. Um, yeah, you know, I think he's all right. Probably lived the life that a lot of people wouldn't like, wouldn't mind living. Sydney says, saw Apocalypse Now for the first time the other day. I want that Tiger camo. Yeah, good film, isn't it? Yeah, if you really enjoyed that, check out Apocalypse Now Redux, which is, it's the same film, but with, I better go off soon, with like 45 minutes added onto it of cut scenes. Um, yeah, if, if you like Apocalypse Now, you'll like the Redux version as well. Um, fucking excellent. Right, I'm going to go off now, by the way, everyone. I should be on tomorrow. I might be on normal time tomorrow, so be prepared. I'll be on 9 o'clock, and I won't be on till 12. Right, let me check that out, Zed. Um, I'll open that up now before I go off. All right, yeah, I'll check that out. It looks all right. It, it, I said it looks all right. I just see a bit of a picture, but... Yeah, just watching everyone. I appreciate it. I might have found some new music tonight. Um, yeah. All right. That's it. Yeah, with the French family and the, and the Playboy girls, I think, are a bit more in it, aren't they? Yeah. There's not a lot added, but it's just a little... Yeah. Good night, everyone. I'll be on tomorrow about nine o'clock, but be prepared. I might be on late. What time did I come on tonight? Really late, wasn't I? Like half ten, all right? Um, no, I think it was... It must have been ten-ish, yeah. <laughs> right. I appreciate it. Been quite a good chat tonight. I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night. It's quarter past twelve.